Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jackie here. Hope you all had an awesome 4th of July. Um, we certainly did and it was a lot of fun. So today I am hopping on and we're talking about time. Time, time, time. What we wish we all had more of. I know I wish I had more of it. Hey, what's up you guys? Thanks for hopping on. If you're hopping on live, let me know. Just type comment or type live in the comments so I know you're on. What's up? Hope you all had a great 4th of July. So um, if I haven't met you guys before, my name is Jackie, Jackie Peterson. I am a mom of two. I'm also a fitness trainer, and my mission is to help women feel healthier and more balanced while honoring your priorities. And so um, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest questions I get or concerns that I get from women that I work with every single day is I feel like I don't have enough time and I don't have enough energy. Hey, Meredith. Um, I feel like I don't have enough time and energy to get workouts in or eat healthy or just make my health a priority because I'm so busy. And so I primarily work with moms um, specifically new moms within the first couple years after having a baby and it is a stressful time of life give me an amen if you are a mom with a little one and you feel stressed give me an amen in the comments or give me one of these emojis because um, we all wish we had more time we all wish we had a little bit less stress in our lives and we certainly all wish we had more energy um, I know for me, so my baby is now 14 months old, but really like the first year, I mean, let's be honest, the first couple of years are hard, but the first year can be really challenging because you're just not getting enough sleep um, and the baby is a lot more demanding of your time. They're not self-sufficient at all. Hey, April, thanks for hopping on. And it's, it can be hard to like fit everything in. And so if you're, if you're a mom, you've got no time, Type time in the comments. Let me know. Do you wish you had more time? How old are your little ones? Um, and I feel like at this stage, people will say things like, oh, I, you know, everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. And you're like, shut up. <laughs> no, they don't. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Because it's hard. Like, it's just hard. Um, and so even though, yes, everybody has the same 24 hours in a day, it feels some days you feel like you're drowning, especially if you have multiple children that you're trying to take care of, um, or if you're just trying to figure out mom life, how to balance work, how to balance family, how to balance your kid. Elena says, yes, I have a two month old and a four and a half year old. Oh, I feel you girl. Okay. Yes. I know where you are right now. Um, we also have a, our daughter's four now too. Um, Meredith says I have a 17 month old and a 27 and, and I'm 27 weeks pregnant with number two. Oh yes, 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 yes. That is a struggle. Trying to take care of a toddler while you're pregnant requires a lot of energy too. So I know what overwhelm feels like. I know what, you know, struggling for time feels like. I've totally been there. I'm still there every single day. It is not never, um, it never gets necessarily easier, but you just, you start to develop habits that, that make it less challenging, right? Um, and you just start, sort of figure out your routine. Um, so here's my question for you guys. So I know it feels like you don't have a lot of time, right? But how much time do you spend doing things that don't totally serve you? Such as scrolling social media. <laughs> Um, like literally how much time, if you've ever done this before, you can actually find out like how much time you spend on your apps, such as like Instagram or Facebook. You can actually go into your settings and it'll tell you like you spend 17 hours a day on Facebook. You would be a pro hopefully not 17 hours a day, obviously, but like it'll actually show you how much time you spend on your social media apps. And I was shocked one time when I went in there and I was like, oh my gosh, why am I on social media for two hours a day, right? Like I don't, you don't even realize it, but you just pop on your phone um, and you start scrolling, right? Okay, so it adds up, it all that time adds up. And I, I came to that realization where I'm like, I need to stop complaining about time and start using my time better um, so that I'm actually taking care of my priorities first, right? Like your kids are first, but then I also have a little bit of wiggle room to where I can do things for myself. I can get in a workout, I can, you know, take five minutes to write out a healthy, you know, meal plan for the week 
or, you know, meal prep on the weekends or whatever it is, like you, you can do it. It's just kind of a matter of shifting your priorities and shifting your mindset a little bit. And it definitely takes you kind of getting into that groove and figuring it out and just make like honestly just making a priority. So there's so much time in our day that is wasted um, that we really don't even realize. And um, if you just alter your habits a little tiny bit, and I'm not even saying like you don't have to shift everything, right? It's just a tiny bit that can make a huge difference in your life. Um, if you just shift your habits just a little, little, little bit. So I'm going to give you just a three tips today that can help you have more time and more energy. And honestly, like the energy part, you guys, that comes with you starting to exercise again. That comes with you um, clearing your mind of the clutter. Because when you clear your mind of clutter and you clear your mind of junk, you instantly have more energy and it's like your, your mind is freed up to do the things that you really need to do in life. And so the energy comes with these tips because if you don't make your health a priority, if you don't make you know yourself a priority, you're not gonna have time, or you're not gonna have time obviously, but you're not gonna have energy to put into your family. You're not gonna have energy to get in the workout. You're not gonna have energy to chase your kids around or take them to fun places or do fun things with them or you know give, give energy to your husband that he deserves to. Um, and so all of this is kind of boiled into one essentially, but I'm just going to give you three tips that can help you. So the first tip that I have for you is kind of obvious, but like you just have to plan ahead. You have to plan ahead. Um, so writing everything down can really help. So if you have a notebook, you do not need a fancy planner to do this. I literally, I'll show you guys what I use to plan things out. A notebook. That's all I use. Um, I don't use a fancy planner because sometimes fancy stuff gets overwhelming. It's very pretty and I always want to buy it, but it gets a little bit overwhelming. So literally just having a notebook makes it easy. And so, um, just write your exercise in or your, your 10 minutes to meal plan or your 30 minutes to, you know, bulk meal prep for the week write it into your schedule every single day, okay? And as, for those of you that are new moms, you have a new baby or you have a new baby on the way, this doesn't have to be a to the T schedule, okay? For all you type A personalities, you're gonna wanna do like that to the T schedule and you're gonna stress out if you like are five minutes behind. Don't, like if you have a little one, you have, this is more of a flexible routine, okay? That's what I like to call it. It's a flexible routine, it's a flexible schedule that honors your priorities and it honors your lifestyle, okay? And so just writing things out like, okay, maybe from eight to 12 this morning, I'm gonna get X, Y, and Z accomplished. From 12 to one when the baby's napping, just for example, this obviously might not be your schedule. I'm going to get X, Y, and Z accomplished. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to get X, Y, and Z accomplished. And then if you get three things accomplished in your day, you're like, heck yeah. Like, I did my workout. I got this. I got my emails answered. I got X, Y, and Z done in the afternoon. Like, you're feeling good, right? So don't, like, don't overwhelm yourself with, like, I have to do 17 things today, right? Um, or if you're working full time, maybe you get one I have a lot of women in my boot camps that get their workouts done during their lunch break, um, or they're writing it out and they're getting it done early morning, or they're writing it out and they're getting it done, um, you know, after kids go to bed or something like that. And it, but it really just helps you to write it out. Like if you write it in and schedule it like an appointment, like you would for a doctor's appointment or anything else, that really helps you just stay true to that. Hey, Samantha, thanks for hopping on. It just helps you stay true to that. And to actually commit to doing it, just like you would have to show up at your doctor's office for an appointment that you made. You have to show up at your workout time. You have to show up for, um, you know, preparing a healthy meal or whatever it is. So just plan ahead. Write it down. Another thing that helps is like brain dumping. If you guys haven't heard of this concept, it is like the best thing ever, especially if you are a busy person. Brain dump. The night before, um, so every night take five minutes and literally just like dump onto paper everything you need to do the next day or maybe you want to do it once a week and it helps you kind of just plan out your schedule for the next day or your schedule for the next week and it helps you clear your mind more than anything it's a mindset thing clear your mind of all the junk clear your mind of all the clutter um and you can just breathe easier when you go, like you'll be able to sleep better you'll be able to definitely sleep better and that helps you have more energy the next day yes elena you said i've never heard of that what a great idea it is life-changing when i started doing this probably about 
probably about at least a year and a half now that I've been brain dumping. It is life changing because I had terrible insomnia and I couldn't sleep. I kept just thinking, you know, moms, like we're just thinking of literally everything that we have to do all day, like all day long. Right. And so when I started doing this, I started sleeping so much better. I had more energy the next day. I, I was able to get so much more accomplished because I wasn't just constantly trying to remember everything in my head. I had it down on paper and I could plan it out. And once it's down on play paper out of your mind, you can rest easy. So that's definitely a great option. Um, so these are just a couple little um, side notes for planning that might help you. Five, take five minutes on a Sunday or a Saturday to plan out what you're going to eat for that week. What are your dinners going to be? What are you going to plan for your lunches? If uh, you can plan or you can cook, cook in bulk. This is what a lot of what I like to do, what a lot of my clients like to do. If you have a meal that you really love that you, is easy for lunches, like maybe you want to make, uh, maybe you're grilling one weekend, you're grilling some like chicken or burgers or whatever, just make a bunch of it. And then you have food for the next like three or four days and you don't have to think about it. Just make it all at the same time, right? Um, you can also, like if you're working full time, prepare healthy snacks. Take 10 minutes to prepare a few healthy snacks um, that you can store in your desk that are easy. Um, you know, make sure you've got a water bottle. You can fill it up the night before throw it in the fridge and then grab it before you go to work so that you've got water that you can drink all day. Just a few little tips. Okay. So number one is plan ahead. Number two is just start somewhere. Just start somewhere. Okay. You do not have to change all your habits overnight. Okay. Because honestly, I think that can be overwhelming um, if you're starting from square one. So it doesn't have to be, oh, I have to work out for an hour every single day. I've got to get to the gym six days a week. Um, no. Start two to three days a week. Commit to two, doing 20 to 30 minute workout two to three days a week. Or going for a walk at night with, or in the afternoons with your family or something three days a week. Like, start small. It doesn't have to be overnight. Because when you commit to too much, if you overcommit yourself, that's when people kind of fall off the wagon and they feel like they, you know, the expectations are too high. So start small. Um, the third tip I have for you guys is to just commit and make it a priority because if it's not a priority in your mind, then it's just not going to happen. Like if you don't care about it, then you're not going to do it. So for me, what helped me is I have my top five priorities and I know what those are and I know what order they go in. And so writing that down is really helpful. Like what are your top five, top five priorities in your life? For me, I can tell you mine, and everybody's is going to be different, but mine are my faith, my marriage, my children, my health, and then my work. And so just have, knowing like what order those come in is really important because my kids are always going to come before the workout, but you know, my faith and having like five times Five, five times five minutes to myself in the morning to talk to God or meditate in prayer like that's really important I'm gonna say all right kiddos play with your toys for five minutes so mommy can have time with God right now um, like you just have to know like in what order your priorities are for you and everyone's gonna be different um, but that just really helps you be able to write out that schedule in, an, in a way that honors what's important to you and important to your life um, and so you know it, at the end of the day, you do have the time. It's just about committing, committing yourself to it and knowing that it's important to you. Like, why are you doing it? Why are you making your health a priority? Bottom line, most of most women are going to say it's not for me. It's for my family because I know that I need to give the best of myself to them. And that's why I exercise. That's why I want to be strong. I want to be able to go, you know, on a walk with my kids. I want to be able to pick them up and throw them over my shoulder and like be strong for them. Um, and like have the energy to run circles around the house and chase them and have fun and play games and like do all that kind of stuff. And at the, at the end of the day, that's what I do it for. Um, and so figuring out why do you do it, that's important. So you have the time. Um, I work with women every single month who have kiddos, have multiple children. I actually, one of my girls, I just posted about this this morning. Um, my girl Jenny, who's in my body after baby boot camp, she's got four little ones. 
under three. Shout out Jenny if you're on here. I love you, girl. Um, she's got four little ones under three. Okay. Okay. That's, that's insane, first of all. But she made the time. She's working full time. She went back to work, I think, around eight to ten weeks postpartum with her little one. Um, and I'm just going to read you what the post that I wrote this morning said, because this is her testimonial from joining body after baby boot camp. She said, I started my journey, um, with Jackie's help in November, 2017. Our fourth child was eight weeks old. I was tired, eating horribly and not feeling the best about myself. Fast forward seven months here. I am today. I have more energy than I ever would have before. I'm more educated about nutrition. I'm more toned. I'm down 30 pounds. I don't work out every day and I don't eat the greatest all the time, but it's way better than it was before. I was still able to achieve results. It's not perfection and I still have a ways to go. But for now, considering where I am in my life, I am so proud of all my hard work and progress. And that's what she had to say. She's a mom, full time working mom, four under three years old. Okay, guys, I promise you, if she has the time, you have the time too. And um, it's just about making it a priority and caring about yourself and caring about like whatever your why is, if it's for your family, if it's for you to just feel good and confident um, about yourself, that is important. And like wanting to feel better is important, not just for you, but for everyone around you and for the work that you do and making a greater impact in the world. So. Make the time. I hope that these tips helped you. Just to recap, number one is to plan ahead. Number two is to just start somewhere. You don't have to go all in. Just start. And number three is to just wrap your mindset around this. I'm committing to this and making it a priority. If you want to dive deeper into this, Body After Baby Boot Camp, I'm starting a new round um, next week. So Monday is the last day to join. I will drop the link. If you're on Instagram, you can go to the link in my bio to enroll. If you are on Facebook, I will drop the link for you to check that out. And I would love for you to join us. We have an incredible group of women, incredible group of women that are here holding you accountable, giving you support daily. There is no other program like this for moms on the market that are, that's made specifically for you in this season of your life where you need that additional support. You need a plan mapped out for you. Let me guide you. Let me help you because I've done it before. I've guided over 70 women through this program to success and I want to help you. All right, you guys have an awesome day. I love you all. And if you ever need any support, reach out. I am here for you. Bye guys.